Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to deploy Dino to DigitalOcean. All you'll need is the Docker CLI, a DigitalOcean account, and the DigitalOcean CLI. Let's get started. So to get started, let's just create a Docker file. And this Docker file is very simple. All it'll do is pull from the Dino land Dino image, which we update every release. We'll expose a port and we'll provide some other and we'll add and we'll list a few other things that we need to run the app. And obviously, depending on what your app does, you may need to update these commands. But for this example, it's extremely simple, so we'll stick to this. So on top of our Docker file, we will also create a Docker Compose file. Now this isn't necessary, but it'll just make it'll just make using the Docker CLI a little bit simpler. There will be fewer flags that we'll have to add. So here we'll just do. So this is all, all very simple. You can make it as complex as you'd like. And there we go. All we're doing is we're just making, all we're doing is we're just defining the container name, image, ports, and uh, what to build. Great, so after you have your Docker file and your Docker Compose file, let's run it. We can just do Docker Compose up. And if you have your Docker running locally, um, you'll see that it'll build the local file into an image and run it. So here you can see we have the Docker image. It just it was just built less than a minute ago. And if you go to our containers, you can see it is running. So we can open it right from here. And it says hello from Dino and DigitalOcean. So that works. So after we have this running locally, the next step is to tag the image and push it to DigitalOcean's private container registry. All right, so after you have that running, the next step is to create a private container registry in DigitalOcean. And we can use that. And we can do that using the DigitalOcean command line interface, Doctal. And the command is registry create. So running this will create a registry which will need to push images to it. Um, and if you already have a registry, it'll fail because I think you can only have one. And once we have this uh, endpoint, you see um, that means that this is where you can start pushing images. And if we check DigitalOcean, we should see an updated container registry. And let's take a quick look at that. So here on the left side, you'll see there's a tab under the Manage tab. There's another tab called Container Registry. Let's click on that. And here it should show you your new Container Registry Dino example. So now the next step is to push your image to DigitalOcean. So we have the endpoint here. Uh, we can just use that. So once we tag this, and we have the name Dino you know, image from the Docker Compose file. And once we tag this, we should be able to push it. Ah, 
my authentication. All right, so after you create your container registry, I guess you will have to generate a new personal access token. So let's do that. You know, example. And once we have that, copy it. We'll need to add it to our doctal with doctal auth init. The next step is to log in with doctal registry login. Now let's try pushing it. Once this is complete, we should see it in our DigitalOcean container registry. There it is. This is the Dino image that we just pushed four seconds ago. And it has the tag latest, which is the default tag. So after your image is in the container registry, the next step is to go to the droplet. We'll create a new droplet here. We can choose Ubuntu shared. For this example, we'll just use the cheapest option. Uh, I select a password with this root password. And then we can create the droplet. It'll take a few moments to provision. So now that our droplet is up and running, let's open the console. And in here, we can pull our image from the private registry and run it. So we gotta install Docker on our DigitalOcean droplet. And we gotta make sure to install it so that we don't have to, so that it has all the right access that we need. And we're following right now, we're following this guide on DigitalOcean and I'll put a link to this in the video description. Okay, so now if we try running Docker, let's try running Docker to build it from the image that we put in our private registry. authentication error and I think we might need to log in. Okay, so what we'll have to do now is to generate a personal access token in DigitalOcean and give that to your Docker command here. So I already created a personal access token here. Um, you can do so at this URL, uh, cloud.digitalocean.com slash account slash API slash tokens. And once you've grabbed that token, you can use this command here to log in with Docker. So Docker log in you. And 
you give the command. And then the name registry digital ocean. Now, when we try running docker run, it should pull it from the container registry. So here we go, it's downloading it, and now it should run it after it finishes downloading. And now if we go to our droplets, You should be able to see the app. So there it is. This is the same app that we had locally on main.ts and we built an image from it. We tagged it. We created a digital ocean container registry. We pushed that image to that registry. We created a droplet. We SSH into that droplet and then we installed Docker authenticated Docker, and then we're finally able to pull that image from the private registry onto the droplet. And now you can see it's running here at this address. So hopefully that shows you how to deploy to DigitalOcean. If you're interested in how to set up continuous deployment using GitHub Actions, there will be a link in the description to get started there. I hope that helps. <laughs>